they can pull you apart as a person and severely attack your ego. That's what I was dealing with. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up? What up? What up? What up? Hey yo, what up world? What is good with y'all? Is that a side cam? It is. Hello. Hi, I am here. You're on the side. It's a new thing, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Might, we might do it. All right, what a uh, Lupe fiasco this meal was trying to get. I will explain it to you in just a gif here, but uh, before we do that, we do have some getting out of burgers, construction, beautifying things to do. So while I do a little bit of construction, I don't mean to bore you. This is a Barks Root Beer, by the way. Full sugar. We're doing it. Uh, I don't mean to bore you too much. I know everybody gets all, mm, just eat the food. I got a little bit of a story to tell, okay? This is my personal narrative. So while we're doing this, I've watched Ben Dean in the past crush a four patty quarter pounder. So like a quadruple quarter pounder. Ever since I've seen him do that back, like I'm talking months ago, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And I was gonna do it today as well because I wanted to join that quattro quarter pounder club. So I guess a pound of beef if you really think about it. But I decided against it. And I'm just going to do two, but I'm going to doctor them up and make them real delicious and nice. And make them a little more in and out -y, little California style. So, on the side, Kim. Get yourself a nice glimpse of that cheesy, beefy deliciousness. And then we construct. So all I want to do here is take these tops off. I brought my own home sliced tomatoes. And my own lettuce. And luckily enough, McDonald's here provides Mac sauce. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spoon on a nice helping on each right in the middle because I want that sauce smack dab jab in the middle. And I want the beef on one side, the veggies on the next, and all the love and sensuality in the middle, in the mouth. Look at that, one huge beefsteak tomato slice on each shall suffice. And I brought a perfectly designed lettuce for you, sir. And this one's not quite as prepackaged greatness, but it will still work. So top one, hello. Top two, yeah, yeah. All right, so I was doing everything in my power to hold back against getting this meal, doing this meal, just because I've been trying to be a little bit of a better person to my body a little bit here and there. But this was the last day I could hold back. It just had to happen. So here we are, a beautiful life. What a beautiful thing. The mac sauce with all those fresh veggies. It is so good. It's way more worth it just to like, if you have lettuce and tomato at home, just order it, pre-prep them, have it ready for when it comes. Cause we all know that McDonald's has like a five minute lifespan. Chuck them on there. Every time I order lettuce and tomato, add it at McDonald's. Look at the ass end on that. A Kardashian ain't got shit on that. The lettuce and tomato always comes so soggy and just like hot and gross. It's, I don't like it. We 
take initiative and do it ourselves. Hitting the spot so hard. I haven't eaten in like 20 hours. This feels so devilish, a full sugar root beer. Oh my God, that's so good. All right, now that we have a moment to breathe and have a few fries, I will enlighten you. It's a really simple short story. I'm a dumbass. Um, as you can see, I'm in another new setup, as opposed to the other videos that you've seen where I was in a different setup as well. I've moved all my shit again to a different area. I just rearranged. I'm trying to figure out a long-term solution that I'm happy with. moving forward in these videos and uh, that would go as far as to say that where I am now is not my same address as I used to live at I know I have to address that with you guys we'll talk about it Like I said, when the time's right. It's all good, though. Um, that said, though, I ordered this and I had my old address on file. <laughs> and halfway through, I thought about it and I thought, I, had, I haven't ordered here yet. That's totally going to my old spot. AKA my sister's house. So I had to like hit up the support and do like this, all this redirection. And the main disappointment with, with all that is that it's very hard to get hot, fresh delivered to McDonald's. Like it has to come boom right then, and you have to get to it right then. We all know that like even at McDonald's, like when you get it there, you gotta eat it like right then, you know what I mean? Even delivery McDonald's is just questionable in general. But if you live in decent proximity to your McDonald's, you should be able to get it, you know, and still have it be relatively decent. In this scenario, obviously it had to, we had to go through a whole little fiasco. And by the time it got here, I assumed it was gonna be like really bad. And I was actually surprised. It was still pretty decent. So, it's still all good. Now, as far as the side cam goes, you gotta hide your head behind it. But as far as the side cam goes, I'd like to explain that. That one is my new camera. This is my iPhone. I've always filmed on my iPhone until getting the new camera. With me moving the setup and stuff and new lighting and everything, I was just troubleshooting. Trying 
get the lighting right with that camera and stuff, and I just, I couldn't seem to get it right, and I just got to a point of frustration, and starvation, where I was like, screw this. I'm going to go back to Old Faithful iPhone for today, for, for the front video, for the frontal angle, and then just maybe mess around with this little side angle to see how the food looks like that. In future, I want to get that guy as my as my full frontal all the time but uh but just got to get some settings figured i will say this one thing is that these like better cameras So amazing for like a lot of different stuff when it comes to both your vanity and insecurity the iPhone has your back because I feel like camera phones are less sharp in their image and they are designed to kind of be flattering good for selfies and videos and pics of the gram so they, they're like designed to almost like polish your face a little bit more whereas these new cameras are like a good camera i should say they can pull you apart as a person and severely attack your ego so that's what i was dealing with I kept filming myself. I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> that's terrible. I don't like that. So, troubleshooting. That's the thing with technological upgrades. Anytime you're technologically upgrading, you're usually going through these like painstaking knowledge required like growing pains of using the technology, figuring it out, learning about the settings and lighting and all that shit. It's like, it's very frustrating sometimes, at least for me. Cause in a world where everything that we do seems to be so easy, especially even with like smartphones and stuff, when you move to something that's requires like a certain level of knowledge to be good with, and all you want from it is to be better than like the iPhone, but just you want it to be like easy too. You're like, just can't you just can't the auto mode just like be like I don't, I'm not looking to be like film professional level I just want it to be like a little cleaner a little nicer a little this a little that you know but just kind of do it for me <laughs> I do know how to like actually manually set it to, to some decent degree and I have studied about like all the different things you need to know about apertures and all that stuff but I'll get there because I don't want to just rush something and then have it come out like just garbage and just be like uploading stuff that I'm not like cool with and it's just and then wasting eating calories having this video that I can't upload because I, I hate it anyway those were crazy delicious that root beer was something else to be honest I'm not gonna lie um hope you guys enjoyed that one a little more interesting maybe than uh, the older ones so the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true